Smash that like button right now if you are not a bot. Yo, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you a video on how to find your optimal aim in Fortnite. Step 1. Go into creative mode with a friend of yours. It has to be with a player because if you use the bot so you can use in creative mode, the aim assist is not the same so you won't find the right sensitivity. Step 2. Create a chest with every gun that you want to mess with your sensitivity with. Step 3. Go into my island game settings. Give everybody 10,000 health, 10,000 shields, full starting shields. And then start the match. Alright, now open your chest. Get the guns that you want to test. My most important weapons are Scar, Drum Gun, Shotgun, SMG, this new gun. Now have your friends run around in circles and shit. Like just, like a normal player would run around. You're going to want to build up a little bit, like if you were in a real game. And then just try to beam them. This is a little bit too slow. But then it also ends up being a little bit too fast when I try to correct it. I overcorrect. So that means my sensitivity is too high. So from 8, we're going to bring it down to 7, 5. No, that's too much of a change. Let's try 7, 7, and then 6, 7. Real quick, I want to interject. Um, a lot of people play, most people actually, play on the same sensitivity, both X and Y. It wasn't until the first time I ever saw Aiden do this, I think. He had his Y lower than his X that I tried it. And uh, it's insane how much of a difference that made for me. Obviously, everybody's different, so if it doesn't do anything for you, don't copy me. Stick with whatever works for you. But if you've never tried it, you might want to try lowering your Y sensitivity and keeping your X higher. Because uh, Y sensitivity is much harder to control than X. It's so much easier to control your left and right than your up and down. And uh, that's why a, y, a lower Y sensitivity might be better for you. It's definitely better for me. It helps a lot with shotgun aim. And then let's increase this one up to 500. Zero, zero. Once I get on target, I'm really good, but until I get on target, I'm, I struggle to get on target, right? That means it's too slow, so you're going to want to put your ADS sensitivity up a little bit. Yep. So now, compare this to what my sensitivity was before this. Alright, so check out the difference being at 0 .505 and 0 .500. Alright, so this is 0 .500. I'm hitting a lot of body shots, but no headshots, right? And then you go up to 0 .505. I know it seems crazy, but check out the difference. Yo, keep running. Look at the headshots. It's like insane what these tiny little changes can do. So you gotta, you gotta change it little by little. You can't do any big changes or you'll never find the right sensitivity. And it's gonna take a long time. It took me literally hours and hours of playground mode. And I still haven't found the right sensitivity. I'm constantly tweaking it, trying to find the right one. But I'm getting closer and closer every day. And then when new guns come out, you might need to change it too. Boom. That is insane, bro. Alright, now I'm gonna mess with my dead zones to show you guys how much of an effect I can have. The default dead zone, 0 0.12, 0 0.12. That's the default. So this was this is me with a default dead zone. So you see my aim is on point when I first aim in, but then when I need to adjust is way too slow, bro. You could either increase your sensitivity to try to fix this, but I think it's better to switch your dead zone because that gives you more, uh, it lets you fine tune it more. But if your controller can't handle that dead zone that low, then just switch your sensitivity. Because if your controller is kind of broken and you put your dead zone too low, it'll start to drift like this by itself. Alright, so originally I went down to 0.08. I was on that for a while, then I went down to 0.05 and that felt too low, and I settled on 0.06. Stream is rated PG 13. Strong language may be inappropriate for children under 13. Holy shit. Parental guidance is suggested. Now I gotta go test my shotgun sensitivity, make sure that's good. Alright, first of all, before we start messing with it, I know for a fact that this is my ARM, right? I need it to be this. So my ADS sensitivity is 0 0.505 and my so controller sensitivity is 0 0.770, 0 0.670. I need to multiply these to figure out what the final value is. Alright, so 0 0.770 times 0 0.505. That means my ADS sensitivity is equivalent to 0 0.389. So those are my two. My X ADS sensitivity is 0 0.388. And my Y sensitivity is 0.338. So once I mess with my X and Y to fix my shotgun aim, I need to make sure I adjust this one to end up with the exact same ADS sensitivity. I multiply them. So I didn't actually end up changing my shotgun aim because my shotgun aim is already good enough. You know, I didn't want to mess with sensitivity since I was already, I felt I'm already at my best shotgun aim. So I didn't actually need to do the multiplication that I did. But you guys might need to do it. That's why I showed how to do it anyways. 
because if you do change your X and Y after you've already found what your ADS sensitivity is, then you need to recalculate it by multiplying them so that you can adjust your ADS sensitivity so that it's exactly the same as it was before. Alright, so now you want to test gliding, right? Because your competitive player is a really big part of uh, what differentiates the, differentiates the good players from the very, very good players is your ability to beam people out of the sky when they're rotating in. Yeah, honestly, I think my sensitivity is good enough. Like, you have to remember, when it comes to beaming people out of the air, like even if you have the right perfect right sensitivity, it's block. still a very difficult thing to do. And, uh, obviously, the better your, if your sensitivity is, you know, at your optimal sense, you're gonna have, have an easier time, but, you know, it's only gonna get you so far. That's why I don't wanna mess with it, because I'm already at the right sensitivity. I just don't wanna end up screwing it up. It's just really hard to beam people out of the air, you know? And I, I'm already pretty good at it compared to most people, I think. Alright, I think that's enough. And that has been how to find your sensitivity in creative mode so you can go out into the real game and beam the shit out of people. Because honestly, the only reason I've been able to place in the World Cup and uh, earn money because of my aim. There was so many situations where somebody just very clearly outbuilt me, but at the end of the day, they missed every single one of their shots and I didn't. And all those add up, you know? All those moments where somebody is better at building than me, but my aim is better. It adds up and it got me onto the top top uh, 200 on NA West for a total of $300 so far. I have a lot of people that are better than me in creative mode. They beat me in every build fight. But at the end of the day, it's your aim that gets you placement points. Because you got to take those fights and you got to be able to kill people when they're rotating in. If your aim isn't this good, then you got to fix it until you can do this reliably. Alright, GG. Thanks, boys. And the last thing I'm going to touch on real quick is uh, make sure you do not copy my sensitivity if you are not using a control freak. I use these control freaks on my PS4 DualShock controller. I have a normal PS4 controller, uh, a Dominator Strike Pack for paddles. You can buy that on Amazon for like $40. And uh, these thumbsticks. You can buy them on Amazon, eBay. They're really cheap, like $10. Uh, I no longer use the one on the left stick because it's not needed and it, it screws up my editing. But the one on the right stick, without it, it's just completely different sensitivity. So if you try to copy my sensitivity and you're not using at least a control freak, you're, you're wasting your time because it's what you feel is completely different to what I'm feeling. So even though you should never even copy a sensitivity in the first place, it's a good way to, uh, to you know, like a starting point and then expand from there. But your sensitivity will never be the same as anybody else's. You need to find it yourself. If you copy somebody's, I guarantee you, it's not going to be the best sensitivity for you. It might be good. You might be pretty good with it, but I guarantee you there's going to be a better sensitivity for you if you keep looking for it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.